Hi and welcome to the review brought to you by MobileNorth.ca. Uh, today we're going to be actually utilizing the Asus Zen Book model UX303LN, uh, which is going to be powering our review uh, or tips and tricks of Windows 8 and 8.1 today. Uh, so we're going to be using uh, some of the features that Windows 8 and 8.1 have to offer that you may or may not know about that could help your daily life. This, uh, this first step that we're going to actually look at, this tip or trick, is going to be right clicking on the Windows icon below and instead of bringing up the Metro, it'll actually bring up you a short list of different quick like options that you can go into. So this can be used for control panel, programs and features, um, you can also do uh, shutdown, restart options as well from here. So a lot of people complain that you have to go into the Metro user experience and try and find what you want to do. Here it is simply on the right click of the icon itself. Uh, I never actually got to use this from the features of Windows 8 so I'm not too sure if it was something added in 8.1. The next feature we have here is show my desktop background on start. This is a really nice feature if you do not like going to the Metro screen and seeing those icons here. Uh, you can simply go straight to your desktop upon restart and uh, this will actually allow you to go right into the desktop screen itself and uh, a lot of people actually like this feature. A lot of my friends and family have changed it to have, have liked this now instead. The next option here, as you can see, I'm clicking on the actual titles of the Metro apps uh, icon. So this can make it a better user experience for, for some people who really don't like seeing this. Um, I have actually grown to like it quite a bit. And so what I've done is I've customized where they are, the sizes of them, um, different locations. I've also changed the titles, as you can see at the start of that, where you can actually um, name it. So what I've done is I've made one that said games and it has all of my games. You can as well uh, download programs that are, are third party programs that will actually allow you to make your own tiles here. So customize Windows 8 tiles with your own pictures and icons. And there are websites that will actually make them for the different sizes as well. So you could just type a game and, and there you go, you have your title. Now, one of the next features we're going into is, is not necessarily a tip or trick that may may or not know about. Uh, this is actually just simply changing your lock screen. So some people don't know that you can actually change the lock screen and customize it to make a, a better experience for yourself. So this would allow you to go in and change what you actually see upon the lock screen. So when you restart or if you turn off the computer or if you're locking the screen, whatever the case may be, you can actually change the picture that you're um, brought up with. So then that way it's a little bit more customizable for you. Uh, you can choose from the preset ones or you can actually choose your own. The next feature that you're going to see in about 30 seconds here is actually changing the picture of what you see if, if you forgot your password. So if you forgot your password, you can show a picture instead and this picture will give you kind of a hint as to what you've made as your, your um, password. may not be the best security feature, but it is a real neat you know, alternative to actually having a hint there and having to create a hint as well. So very nice feature uh, just to make it a little bit more user customizable experience. Uh, Windows has added this so that you can you can do that as well. Now the next feature we're going to be taking a look at is what's called hands-free mode. Um, so once I get into uh, a neat feature of the Windows experience, you can get into recipes. Here we have Chef Wolfgang Puck's recipe for roasted turkey two ways. Now this is really cool. You can go slide back and forth to see all the different pages, but if you have a webcam on your computer, like most tablets that are in the kitchen do, you can actually do hands-free. So you don't have to uh, actually touch the screen. So it prepares it and then simply by swiping your hand in front of the camera back and forth, it'll move from the pages to the right to the left. Now what I found difficult with this feature is that going backwards it didn't actually go backwards I was actually simply going forwards and this kind of was confusing and while I'm in the middle of cooking something I really don't want to be wasting more time trying to figure out my webcam uh, it got better and better as more practice with it but I'm, I'm sure it could have just been the webcam sensitivity um, something just with myself or just not paying attention to the instructions so it does give you a tutorial and you can get back to this tutorial as well to change from the hands-free mode on and off there as well uh, but you can also go through that tutorial to teach you how to use this mode and that concludes our, our review and, and tips and tricks here using the ASUS um, so if you have any comments, please comment on the video down below or just through our website. Um, this, this tutorial is definitely going to be something that we will grow upon. So if you have any questions or you wanting to see any more tips and tricks, and if you have any 
things that you want us to, to review, please let us know.